coach them after the quarter side and the game going in with Sui and so again, what spell the difference and allowed you to pull on this victory? Hmm. Good question. I don't know. <laughs> uh, guys just came out and played. I, I was uh, kept their poise. They, they came down and, and got good shots. They, they found Justin, and I think that's really key. Um, uh, I don't think we did that in, the, in our last game when we were up in, uh, in Kandon. So uh, we didn't locate Justin at, at, at crucial times. It would have really helped us. Um, and just the fact of being able to come here uh, and win this game after coming from kind of on a six-hour bus ride and that shoot, tough shooting night we had. Um, uh, I've never seen a team shoot so poor. Yeah, that, was <laughs> that was really a tough night for us. And uh, I'm just really appreciative that the guys didn't come out tentative. They came out aggressive, continued to take their shots. And, uh, um, and we were able to pull it out. And that's basically what you do with Sam McGill. You find ways to pull out a victory because uh, they're, they're incredibly tough. Yeah, I think you know Justin's finding his trying to find his way through what we're doing because it's you know we have a lot of unfamiliar guys there, but uh, you know RJ and and Stephen and and Isaac. Even Paul, they're, they're very unselfish players, so uh, you know they fit in what we do, and uh, you know we're just trying to grow every game. Um, and I, I'm I have to admit I'm a little bit surprised we beat them, beat San Miguel today, because I, I just don't know if we're at the level we need to be at yet, but we'll get there, and we just continue, expect to continue to improve as we go along. But having the anchor of Justin and L.A. Uh, and Japheth, the, you know, the, the three veterans, uh, is huge for us. Um, you know, they show the way for everybody. Thank you, Coach. Justin, congratulations. Thank you. This is a career high night for you, 51 points. Earlier, we were talking about how you're very familiar with Jordan Adams' game because of the IBL, and you said that what stood out to you was this three-point game, but you showed him, he, you showed him what you can do in the PBA. What intention were you Um, the intention is just to try to do whatever, you know, to uh, win the game. Um, you know, Jordan Adams, he's, he's an incredible player. You know, he got a, a great resume. He's played in the NBA and um, pretty much, you know, all over the world. So um, I, I, I give him a lot of respect and I respect his game. And, um, you know, it was a fun matchup. Um, give a lot of credit to San Miguel. You know, uh, they played us tough as always. And, um, yeah, just uh, happy, you know, uh, we, we shot better than the other night, you know, uh, like Coach was saying. But, uh, you know, he gave us a lot of uh, a lot of confidence to go out there and be aggressive. Uh, you know, uh, shoot your shot if you feel comfortable with shooting it. You know, uh, he said he'll let us know if it's not a good shot or not. But, uh, you know, he gave us confidence to just stay aggressive no matter, you know, how we shot the ball last game. And um, I think the, the whole team did a, a great job with that, you know, moving forward from um, last game. Justin, you mentioned that coming back here feels like finally coming back home. And after you said that you heard your high nine, just what meaning does this hold after all these years in the PBA and your accolades? What does it mean to you having another for your high nine? I'm um, just happy, you know, just uh, to keep uh, winning. You know, um, we won the game, and, and that's, that's what really matters. You know, uh, my teammate did a, a great job, like Coach said, give me open shots, give me the ball in comfortable areas. and. Um, you know, they got a lot of trust in me, so I just try to go out there and um, just stay aggressive and, you know, uh, try to help out the team as much as I can. Thank you, Justin. At this point, we're opening the floor to the media. Um, it, uh, I think it helped me a lot with, you know, staying in, in shape, staying in rhythm, and um, growing with that team, you know, in the IBL, I think was uh, great for me. You know, it was a lot different from the PBA, uh, where you have three imports and um, two can play at a time, but uh, 
just playing in that league, uh, the experience I gained, uh, winning the championship. Oh, um, <laughs> <cat. laughs> <laughs> um, just the experience playing out there, you know, winning the championship is always, you know, great experience. And when you go through something like that, winning the championship, and um, yeah, um, you know, I enjoyed it in my time there, and um, you know, it's uh, I'm happy and excited to be back in the PBA. Well, it wasn't just him; it was everybody. Even on the other side, Rainer Shine struggled as well. It, like I said, it was a it was a beautiful facility. The Candon facility was a beautiful facility. It was nice being up there. It's a tough trip going up and tough trip coming back. So I really appreciate the effort our guys went through to, to play that game and then come here to Adeneta. Well, we haven't really played here, what, two months? Yeah. We haven't played here in like a year. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it was almost like a new gym for us tonight. But what I really liked about RJ is he came out and took his first open shot and knocked it down, took another open shot and knocked it down. Just goes to show his mindset. You know, he's, he's, he's a rookie, but he's a veteran. He's a veteran of the Korean leagues. He's a veteran of the Japanese leagues. So, you know, he's not, he's not a young guy that we're trying to teach everything to. He's just trying to learn our system. And uh, uh, as everyone knows, our system's a little complicated in the beginning. And so he needs to just learn and settle down. And, and uh, uh, once he does that, I mean, he's got all, all the tools. So, uh, and the personality and the drive for success, as well as the, the basketball tools. So he's going to be a good one. Um, and uh, we're just looking forward to giving him more time to, to, to settle himself in.